we're going to show you how to clean your dog's ears. Now, if you're doing this for the first time, it's really important that you take it slowly and patiently and use lots of treats because your dog might be scared of this and if you go in too fast and too hard, you could hurt them or scare them and they will, you'll have more trouble and more trouble as time goes by. Whereas if you're careful and you're slow and you use treats, your dog should enjoy this. If you take it carefully, it also means in the future your dog will look forward to this being done. They won't run away when you lift the bottle up. They'll look forward to their treat. And if your dog does get an ear infection, not only will you see it quickly because you've been cleaning these ears weekly, but when you come to us to have that ear infection treated, your dog won't have a problem with the one that's been put in. So what we're doing here is we're cleaning Coco's ears. She's a Labrador, and Labradors often get quite significant wax accumulation in their ears. And if we don't tackle this, as many dogs are the same, they'll get yeast infections in the ears. Now, in her case, we're going to use this product called Epiotic, which is without question the best for these dogs. It is antifungal and cleaning at the same time. And we do this typically weekly at the beginning. It's very important this is not done in a dog that has an ear infection, but only when it's dirty before the infection starts. And I think we've got this dog in time. So let's go. You use volume, you put lots in. Can I get you to hold her chin up while we do oh, this? Yes. Yeah, that's it, because it'll just shake about. And we're going to fill that ear right up. And it's just like water, it doesn't sting unless there's an infection. And massage below. See where I'm massaging my finger and thumb, I'm pushing in below the opening. The ear canal runs down here, and we've, we've got that noise. A bit of groaning, they often do that when it's, see it's red here, so it's a bit itchy and she's quite enjoying that. And you can see that nut coming up there. Now, I'm going to swing around, I'm not going to let her shake. Come around here, I'm going to do the other side, I'm leaving that in there to soak. And again, probably better if it was a bit warm, she's probably going, oh that's a bit cold. And here we go again, give it a good old massage. And again you can see, what I'm doing is I'm agitating around and trying to let it sit for a bit. Now typically what I will do is do one more time. Don't move the camera, I'll just come around here and do it again. Fill and massage. Whoa, oh, not yet. Not yet and fill and massage again. Beautiful, beautiful. And now that's sat in there for a few minutes. It's loosening up all the discharge. Step back, I mean, if you could just get out of the way. She's about to shake her head and can let her shake. She won't fall off. She will put her on the floor and let her shake down there. And then she's going to literally expel it all. There we go. Good girl. Well done.